My name is Johnny Scoble and this is Chase the Heat. I want to thank you for joining me. What a pretty day this is. Oh, wish they were all like this. Look at this, you guys. Oh, look at that little thing at the end there. See what that is? You guys, this is a Carolina Reaper. Um, this was sent to me by Tim Hamilton. So, Tim, thank you. Um, I recently did a uh, review of a um, Albino Reaper. I did his regular Reaper. This is a Reaper. But this was grown by Mark Coglin. So, Mark, thank you for, for growing this. Um, and I want to thank you, Tim, for saying it to me. You know, it's an interesting thing. Um, I've said in the past that the hottest peppers I've ever eaten weren't a reaper. I've, I named a bunch of peppers over the last season that I thought were as hot or hotter than a reaper. I just had some reapers um, that were grown um, by... Uh, Randy Keaton, I was trying to remember who, who grew them. Randy Keaton, and they were chocolate and red, as hot as any Reaper I've ever tasted. Maybe even hotter than any, any other normal Reaper I've tasted. So um, it's a hot pepper. It depends on where you get them from, I think. How it's grown, where they got the seeds from. Look at this, you guys. This is the interior of a little Reaper grown by Mark Coglin. So thank you. Um, the last Reaper I ate, that was from Tim. It was hot, five or six, I think I gave it. Um, let's see what Mark can do. All right, thank you for joining me. Guys, in the description box below, you'll see a link to um, Tim Hamilton. I'm not sure if he has any to sell, um, as well as Mark. They, you know, So far, everything I've eaten, they've been some delightful peppers. So um, You'll also see a link um, to my channel, Chase the Heat. And on one side, I'll pick a side. We'll have a floating pepper. Click on the pepper. Become a subscriber. Be a part of this thing. Love you guys a lot. Recently, we hit the 2,000 subscriber mark. It was a huge milestone for me. But it's all about you guys and not about me. That's the truth. If it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't. I mean, I'd be eating it and chasing it, but I wouldn't be filming it. Love you guys. I'm Johnny Scoville. This is Chasey. I'm just being honest when I tell you this, and just, you know, don't feel bad, Mark. Um, that's the most floral, bitter reaper I've ever had. Um, one, I'm not a big fan. I've said this on a lot of videos. I'm not the biggest fan of um, reapers because they tend they tend to be very bitter. Um, this was very bitter, but had a floral taste that I don't usually get as much with the uh, reapers. Fortunately, I was blessed by the chili gods, and that with me, as I've said on several videos, um, the negative uh, characteristics and flavors that I might get on a given pot are the, typically the flavors that dissipate the quickest. So, um, the bitterness and the floral is almost gone. Now I'm just left with that hot pepper uh, flavor. <clears throat> Every bit as hot as Tim's, though. Still climbing. Don't be disheartened when you watch this, because I have a different tolerance than a lot of folks, and some people might eat this and be panicking. So, so I don't want you to, to watch this and say, oh, it didn't bother him. It's hot as can be. I'm just kind of used to it. My superpower isn't just eating hot things, it's being able to keep my composure enough after eating the hot things to describe to you what's going on. Um, it would be the same, about a five or a six with heat. I like the flavor of Tim's a little bit better. Don't uh, be disheartened. Um, I think a, a lot of times the bitterness with a pod comes from the seeds. I never remove seeds when I eat a pod. I eat them all. I don't grow because um, growers see me eat the seeds all the time. No one worries about me pulling seeds out and selling them because I won't do that. Um, but I think if you took the seeds out of that, Mark, um, it, would be a, it wouldn't be nearly as bitter. 
Um, it would make it would be good for a sauce or good for a powder. Um, and if you don't mind the initial flavor, <coughs> five minutes after you eat it, it's really pleasant. It's just that initial burst of uh, floral bitterness that comes with it. But all in all, it was a tasty pepper after the fact. Um, got a little bit of burn here. So I want to thank you, Mark, for sending it to me. And Tim, you guys, thanks for growing these peppers and sending them to me. It means a lot. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning of this uh, video, go to the description box. You'll see a link for Tim uh, Hamilton and Mark Hoglin. Um, I don't know what they have for sale or if they have anything, but I'll put their link anyway. They're nice guys for sure. Um, and um, you'll see here, the floating uh, chasey pepper. Click on that pepper. You'll become a subscriber to the channel and be part of this thing and part of the madness and not just viewing it from the outside. Come on in. Um, but click on the bell when you click on that pepper and, and we'll notify you when we upload these videos like we do all the time. But I'm Johnny Scoville. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me right now. We'll catch you guys next time on Chase the Heat.